I have two daughters, Amber and Haley, who have uh, this rare disease called SSADH, succinic semialdehyde dehydrogenase deficiency. They were the fifth and sixth in the United States of America to be diagnosed with it, and there are about 400 patients worldwide that have it. So it's extremely rare disease, and uh, and um, we have all been together and part of this thing called the SSADH Association. Uh, as many families as we can get together to act as a kind of a come together point. Um, as for the disease, it has um, it definitely affects uh, mental capabilities, memory. It's a very strange disease. It uh, spreads across each uh, each kid can be so different than the other. But some of the same things are uh, hypotomia. There are uh, uh, communication, speech problems, and there are also again these sort of memory problems, cognitive issues that show up. Um, it's a little bit like a uh, flooding in some uh, layman's terms. It's uh, almost as if uh, you were roofied. Uh, if you got roofies and you forgot what happened, the short-term memory is kind of just erased. Sometimes I remember things from a long time ago, and sometimes I just remember something that, you know, they can't remember something that happened five minutes ago. So it's kind of a mix of kind of a roofied Alzheimer's thing in many degrees. So, um, so we, that's uh, been our life. My girls are 24 and 22. Um, they're happy. We have a great family. We work together with them. They do all kinds of therapies play piano, guitar, swim, um, they take some acting classes, they volunteer at theaters, so they're very active. But that's not true for all the kids, and so there's some very different different uh, stories involved, so it's really important from a parent's standpoint that those stories get told.